So a particle is moving along a circular path such that its radius vector relative to the point O is rotating with a constant angular velocity omega. So its radius vector with respect to this point O is rotating with a constant angular velocity. We need to find the modulus of velocity and the modulus and direction of its total acceleration. So because we are dealing with modulus here, let's completely change the direction of this rotation angle because we are more familiar when the angle made with the x-axis is made in a counterclockwise direction, right? So let's reverse the direction because we are anyway bothered about the modulus. So now see this, if this is an angle theta, so obviously the center subtends an angle 2 theta, right? Which means if it travels an extra distance, extra angle d theta, then this radius, I mean this angle will go by 2d theta, right? Because theta plus d theta, double of that will be 2 theta plus 2d theta. So from here we can just see that d theta by dt, if it's, that is the angular velocity of this particle with respect to O. So with respect to O dash, it is simply 2d theta by dt, that is 2 omega. So with respect to O, if the particle is traveling with omega, then with respect to O dash, it is, it is traveling with 2 omega. So omega is a constant and 2 omega is also a constant. So that simplifies our problem a lot. Because now we have equated this motion with one particle that is traveling along a circle with angular velocity 2 omega so with respect to the center. So its velocity simply becomes 2 omega r. So that is the answer of our first part. So what I explained, I have written also. So if angular velocity is omega relative to O, that is d theta by dt, then its angular velocity is 2 omega relative to O dash. That is d2 theta by dt, right? So by simple geometry which means it's a uniform circular motion with angular velocity 2 omega. So in that case, velocity will be 2 omega r and A total will only be in the normal direction because in tangential direction, velocity is constant. So in normal direction, acceleration will be v square by r and v is 2 omega r. So if you put that, you will get your answer.